Hey folks, radar has been busy across the valley this afternoon with stuff in Harlingen earlier in Cameron County, Willacy County. Now what's left, you see just a little bit out here right along the county line and then we had one shower, there it is right there, right along the river to the south of Alamo, right near the Santa Ana National Wildlife Refuge. Other stuff here, you see it just to the south of La Jolla and then more to the north of there, just west of McCook. Zoom out a little wider and you can find the front. Here it comes, working its way southward. It's already through Corpus Christi, it's already through Laredo, should be in here during the uh, next you know, three or four hours. It'll be in the northern part of the valley, probably about uh, 7, 30, 8 o'clock, and then work its way through the valley after that. There's the front kind of snaking across south Texas. Put the temperatures on there, and you'll be able to see that it's cooled off to 65 in Corpus Christi, and it's been raining there. You saw that in that live shot earlier in the newscast. Laredo cooling into the 70s now, but San Antonio is only 64. Victoria is 58. Houston at 64. Get south of the front, temperatures are a little bit closer to the 80 degree mark. Bigger picture, look at Amarillo, 39. It's cooling off, isn't it? 57 Dallas, 55 in San Angelo. That's the cool air that's pushing southward. We won't get to the 39, but we probably will make it into the mid-50s overnight tonight. Here's where temperatures are right now, and the valley's still upper 70s and low 80s. Harlingen saw some rain, so it cooled off there. We had some sprinkles here in Westlaco at 76. McAllen, not so much, so it's 83 there. Here are your future track temperatures. Watch what happens. Front's already in the top of the map. It sneaks into the valley this evening as it goes through. Triggers a shower or thunderstorm by midnight. It's south of us. Most of us fall into the 60s. And then tomorrow, uh, there we are, 8 a.m., 55. And then tomorrow afternoon, 64, 65 across the valley. That's it. Even with sunshine. I think we'll start the day with clouds, but then sun will take over. Temperatures stay cool. Then you get into Sunday morning, 40s. Across most of the valley should be the coolest morning since the end of March. 51 in Brownsville, 60 at the island. And then Sunday afternoon, we should hit 70 again as the winds come back out of the southeast. And then we start the warming trend. Monday morning, upper 50s. Monday afternoon, we're pushing 80 one more time. Let's watch the winds. You look for the colors. You see not a whole lot of wind right now. Some light blue along the coast, so maybe 10 or so. Front comes in tonight by midnight. We've got 20 to 30 mile an hour winds out of the north all across the valley and even gustier at the coast. That's why a gale warning is in effect. Northerly winds last through tomorrow morning, but by afternoon, the wind goes still out of the north, but not nearly as strong. It dies down. So a chilly day tomorrow, 65. Still cool on Sunday because it starts so cold. It takes all day to get to 72. Then we're back to 83 on Monday. Here's a look at the big picture with satellite and radar together. And again, watch future track. Front comes in, triggers scattered showers, perhaps a thunderstorm, and then it's through. Turns cool and windy. Clouds linger. This is 1 a.m. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 a.m. The clouds begin to break up by afternoon. We see sunshine. Should be a nice day, a bit windy and much cooler. And then Sunday, the wind is gone, but it's even cooler. We start with those temperatures in the 40s. Uh, for the most part, we should see sunshine on Sunday. Patchy clouds show up again on Monday. I think we're dry, dry, dry. Any rain tonight will be gone before dawn, so we'll go with a dry day tomorrow, then dry on Sunday and Monday as well. Important information if you're headed to the coast, a small craft advisory is in effect. Look at the winds in the morning. Northerly, 23 to 30 miles an hour. Very gusty at the coast. Afternoon temperatures stay in the 60s. Winds stay out of the north. UV is high. Rip current risk is high. Surf temperature 75. In the Gulf waters, a gale warning is in effect. Bay is rough. Seas 5 to 8 feet, so not the best day to go out in your little boat. So tonight, 52 for a low. Shower or thunderstorm with the front, then windy and cooler will stay in the 70s till the front pushes through, then we cool off. Tomorrow we don't warm up much, 65 for a high. Windy in the morning, wind will die down as the day goes on. Sunshine will make its appearance probably by mid-morning and then be with us most of the rest of the day. So 65, 72 after a cold start of 45 on Sunday, 83 Monday, 85. This is a short-lived front, right? Turkey's happy now, sure. We'll be that happy on Thursday. 77 behind the front. Front comes in late Wednesday. Could trigger a shower or thunderstorm. Some of the models hinted a leftover shower Thursday and Friday.